Hello guys, welcome back to Cyber Security and Ethical Hacking. This is Karthik and today we are going to learn how to install Kali Linux. For this, either you can do it in two ways or either you can install virtual machine or else you can install virtual box. Okay, anything will be fine. So first I'll be showing you how to install Kali Linux through virtual box and then you know like many people are getting problems in virtual box so you know i'll be i'm going to show you the second method how to install virtual uh, you know kali linux through virtual machine so let's get started first open your browser and type virtualbox.org so in virtualbox.org if you see downloads click on this downloads and for windows box you have to download virtual box for windows machine so click on this your virtual box will get downloaded i have already downloaded and installed it so i don't have to do it again so you can also download and install it and afterwards visit kali.org kali.org and on downloads scroll down and you can see 64-bit virtual box click on this and it will redirect you to hope offensive security.com and scroll down in virtual images click on this virtual box images and you can see this Kali Linux virtual box for 64-bit uh, 3.1 GB is the file size so if you tap on that automatically it will get downloaded and I have already downloaded it, so I'll just cancel it. Okay. After downloading this virtual box and installing it, download this Kali uh, Linux virtual box images. Okay. So now you can open your virtual box after the installation. It will look like this. Open your virtual box. And uh, you'll be seeing something like this. Okay, so you have to click on import and you have to click on this file browse icon and my downloaded file I kept in local disk C, VM bears and this is Kali Linux 2019 and open it, click next and click on import. So it will automatically import everything and the settings are uh, done. Everything will be set up automatically. And uh, you know, once you da do all this after importing, I'm just canceling this off. After importing, you'll find this Kali uh, Linux. And here the default username and password is Kali and Kali. Yeah. you just have to click on start you'll find the login page of Kali Linux this is the first method using VirtualBox you can install like this okay so if at all you are facing problem with VirtualBox you are facing problem with VirtualBox then uh, you know the next suggestion is you installing virtual machine so what VMware workstation 15 click on this download this image file click on download it will get downloaded and i have already downloaded it so i'll just click cancel so after this install this virtual machine visit kali.org again and click on downloads scroll down kali linux 64 bit VMware. If you scroll down, this is Kali Linux VMware. So this is a 64-bit image file which is of 2.1 GB. So click on this, it will get downloaded. So after downloading this image file, it will look something like this. so you'll find something like this okay you don't have to worry about uh, these many files available in it so you just have to open VMware 
VMware looks like this. So in this, click on open virtual machine and go select the folder 2020.1 and you see this white color icon just click on this and click open everything is done okay so um you know you'll get your kali linux is installed and you'll find this just close this off close that When you switch on your Kali Linux after doing it, when you click on the power button, uh, you know, power on the virtual machine, so then you can directly, you'll be getting this login page. You have to type Kali and uh, the same Kali as password and click login. You'll get logged in inside your Kali Linux. So these are the two methods, easy, simple methods available to install virtual uh, Kali Linux, either through VirtualBox or through VMware. Okay. So thank you guys. Have a nice day.